now <laughs> we are here and you know that we are so ready for you and uh, we get it into the entertainment news lots of foreign stories in the news today let's kick off with this one avengers endgame beats titanic's yeah 2.12 billion dollars box office record now the film avengers endgame has uh, surpassed the 21 year global box office record of 2.128 billion dollars the record formerly held by the classic titanic now belongs to avengers endgame after just 12 days in theaters worldwide mm -hmm. now according to reports the marvel flick has become the second highest grossing film in the world with an estimated 2.189 Ah, billion dollars. Wow, woo. Like, wow, woo. It was just too, like, too much for me to, to, to even say. What do you guys <laughs> think? Like, look at OJ thinking. When it comes uh, to money, it's money, like, money figure. Just honestly figure. speaking, but I actually feel like Titanic was at a disadvantage because, I mean, then. Titanic came out how many years ago? I can't remember. Maybe 15 yeah. years ago. So, I mean, this movie is in theaters worldwide. <laughs> we had to watch Titanic on a CD. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, so we didn't go to the movies to watch it. Yeah. So I feel like when they drop a Titanic, if they ever drop a, a second part of the Titanic, then we can never, now compare. They might, they might never, never do that. They might never get yeah. it. <laughs> um, so so Avatar, Avatar is currently number one, Ooh. and Endgame is just 12 days in. Mm. Trust me, I know it's Endgame massive. would surpass Avatar, taking the number it's one It's massive, spot. actually. It's just 12 days. Just give it like a few more months. And they will take over. Ah, wow. If you Crazy. stand this movie, you're blue. <laughs> Have you seen the movie? <laughs> I'm telling you. Have you seen the movie? Oh, I'm going to see it. We weekend. are going to see it. Mm. So don't spoil it for us. No, I'm Mr. not talking Spoiler. about it. We are going to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about that? Let me just tell you something that happened. No! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> moving on to the next story, Prince <laughs> Harry and Meghan Markle welcome baby <laughs> boy. Yes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have welcomed their first child together, and it is a boy. The official Twitter page of the royal family announced the delivery of the baby writing our royal highness the duchess of success was successfully delivered of a son at 0526 hours mm -hmm. the baby weighs seven pounds and the duke of duchess of success was present for the birth prince harry and Meghan Markle got married in 2018 in a star-studded wedding in england and everybody has been congratulating these people like they know you <laughs> but really, because they're royal, so I mean, they're royal. Do they know so you? Do, oh. No, because they're royals, we have to do this. We, and you know exactly. how they announce the baby. So mm -hmm. and all those. Oh, they do it as do you well. Do congratulate them? Yes, yes of course. we do. I know that uh, these people carry us along. Even um, the latest um, Olori, uh, we, uh, everybody was on they, that we case. Knew we, we were congratulating her. They were getting her, married. So. Congratulate her on your page. People are put, I'm seeing people putting up status on their WhatsApp and doing, oh, our baby is so here. So guess what? Something. Nigerians, we can be very funny. I really understand what you're saying. <laughs> we can't just be very, very funny. So anything foreign, even when they don't know the person, they are putting it out there. Our but the baby. people, they know, they don't celebrate as much <laughs> as they celebrate for us. I wonder right. why that happens. I don't know. Too. But I'm just going to move on with more news. <laughs> Congratulations, Meghan Markle yeah. and the Duchess, of course. Okay, so moving on. Kevin Hunter is seeking child support from estranged wife, Wendy Williams. Kevin Hunter is seeking child support and alimony from his estranged wife, um, Wendy Williams. And you recall that Wendy filed for divorce from Kevin last month after he reportedly welcomed a baby with another woman. In response to Wendy's court filing, Kevin is seeking spousal support and child support even as their turn uh, their son turns 19 next week. Although he's legally an adult, their son is still eligible for child support as long as he doesn't drop out of college. Wendy filed for divorce in New Jersey, where the law allows child support to continue as, the, as long as the child over 18 is a college student. Mm, this one looks like it's getting even messier. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Like, I was getting confused because I'm like a 19-year-old collecting yeah. child. Then he wanted spousal support. What is that? I'm, I'm a bit lost. Can you like, explain to me? What? She's the boss now. She's one in charge. He wants she, spousal like, support? I, I think, I think oh um, my Mary J. Blige too has that issue. Yes, she has Our, that issue. The husband said, she has that strange issue. husband said, since we've been working, I devoted all my life to you. Now that we're, we're no longer you together. To you pay me. You have to give when, me spousal yeah. support. How do you, girls, say, how do you even write that, that with a straight face? It's all the females that can do it. Oh, but, wow. But, but, no, but, most females ask for child support. And it ends there. 
you know, that one is a very common thing. Now you're a grown man asking for spousal support. I don't know what to say about that. Like, man. But really, you know, you know, I've always loved Wendy, but I'm just thinking that, you know, when people think like this and they feel that it should only belong to women, when we talk about feminism, then you should think we are equal. So let's... So <laughs> do what the men do. But, but then it's different I mean, when you're divorcing and then you both split your mm -hmm. properties. I don't think that's the same thing as spousal support. So now, if he was saying that they're going to go to court and they're going to divide everything legally that we can say okay but why is he asking for support he didn't make wendy who she is so he was so the thing a, is, it was managing it was managing actually they worked together so and, 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 and again there is always a lot to back this up because when you mentioned mary j blige mm -hmm. i remember that you know there was something about it that i heard now i can't remember vividly mm. that you know would make her pay the husband yes. at the end of the day so i guess that because is he devoted what all his might life, likely happen he devoted you know, all his life okay. to this and now you are blown you're okay. big and we are no longer together so pay me my money okay. and they work together actually yes. let me reiterate <laughs> that <laughs> okay and finally guys the 2019 med gala which held last night may have come and gone but its memories fashion statements and dramatic arrivals will surely linger on for a long time it was a stunning sight a stars like katy perry dressed up as a bugger and chandelier you know <laughs> then there was cardi b whose outfits took 35 people, 2,000 hours to create. Gosh, Lady Gaga was not left out with a risque outfit. Harry Styles had people talking with his heels, bangles, and earrings. Of course, Kardashian clan was not left out too, as they tripped out with their boyfriends. However, some stars were absent from the occasion. Rihanna, mm -hmm. who has attended seven Met Gala ceremonies over the years, and in 2018, you know, co-chaired the event, was missing in action last night. Other notable absentees are the 2019 Met Gala include a Pregnant, Blake Lively, Taylor Swift, Sarah Jessica, Perkar, and Beyonce. Now, the theme of this year's event was camp. Notes on fashion. Mm. All right. So, guys, I don't know if you saw pictures, interesting <laughs> pictures, especially Katy Perry, Perry with the burger Party look. The question, the question somebody asked was, I feel you... your excitement from here. Yeah. Like, it's contagious. The, the question somebody <laughs> asked as regards Katy Perry on was, yeah. did you sit in the car with that burger look or the chandelier? And she was struggling with it too. Nobody like, to help her. <laughs> like, what is this? So, it's surprising. I didn't expect that from Katy Perry. I thought Lady Gaga would pull that off. But yeah. what Lady Gaga pulled off as well was she crazy. She was Yes. Four outfits, and she. But then the end of the day, I didn't like the finishing outfits. It was a pant and bra, and, bra. And, and I'm like, ah, that that was too much drama just Gaga. to see but black lingerie. I oh, know. I I would have loved something different. I loved when she pulled the first one. We saw the black. We saw the pink. We saw, I was like, okay, okay. Then a nasty brown pants. I think <laughs> <laughs> it didn't finish up properly. So. <laughs> But then the Kardashians killed it as well. Which was your favorite outfit? Okay, so I can't actually really say now, but then Cardi. I guess I would Cardi have... Cardi B? Uh, Cardi looked fantastic. Eh, but then for eh, 35 people eh. to hold the dress... It's not easy. It's here. not like our red carpets that you just do... And then look two, at your Kim. Look before. at your Kim. Kim it's, it's, looks yeah. like a goddess. The, break, the tear drops. Oh but, my goodness! But, but, but it was Gala, so for, the person, the person who designed um, Kim's dress, actually hasn't designed in twenty, 20 years. years. Yeah. So he came out just to design Kim's dress, and I think he killed it. <laughs> I think he did a fantastic job. I think it was too simple for me, but then Angie? when you're talking about simple and classy exactly. at the same time, you know. Too simple to me. For, but, but, okay. but, but you know, one, one thing about um, Lady Gaga, you know that Lady Gaga rested for a very long time. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't, we've not been feeling that Lady Gaga. Even with this Met Gala, I think we have not even still felt her. Yes, And we're I still agree. waiting for that Lady Gaga but, to come back. I think Lady Gaga has moved on from all the craziness, all those And then crazy Katy Perry is taking Katy over. Katy Perry has taken over. Wow. guess what? I was so shocked that nobody was helping this girl. Who, Katy I mean, Perry? Katy Perry, she was just struggling <laughs> with the burger. I couldn't understand it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're for her. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. As a wrap on the news. And it is time for Tweet Fill, where we bring you the savagery, humor, craziness that social media has to offer in five minutes or less. Okay, so all you have to do is laugh. Okay, <laughs> we got you. All right, for our first tweet. So somebody tweeted and I said, Oloju Rainbow. Now, this is a babe, fully made up, lashes, everything on point. And then someone tweeted, Girls who do makeup like this, and we still tell you to help them draw fish in biology class. <laughs> Why? And I kind of agree with this guy. 
Because how you know this makeup, this kind of makeup this takes at least something. one hour thirty minutes. Constructing. So you're actually painting. You're an artist. So what's going on? <laughs> how can't you draw the fish? <laughs> I'm not oh going to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of when I was in school. Uh, I went to a private university. And then 7 o'clock class, I wake up sometimes at 5 to just do something, maybe get water or something. And I see some babes in front of the mirror. They're not even like, school. Not even oh like school. my goodness. Could carve it. Ah, ah. Moving on, anyways. I'm drawing water, don't Okay, know. so Virgin Boy uh, tweeted, on today's episode of African Mom, <laughs> So now this is a guy in a casket, right? And he's peeping out. And now says, me at my funeral, making sure everyone is crying. So that's the African mom, mm -hmm. making sure that everyone is crying. Now it got even worse when the mom replied. Okay. <laughs> now the mom replied, Timmy, what's your problem? And I said, good morning. And I said, good morning. How was your night? He said, fine and yours. I'm fine, thanks. What is that that you put in your status? Oh, God. <laughs> African mom. <laughs> It's nothing, just for laughs. And she now commented, what kind of laugh is that? I will not cry over you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what do you mean, plain nonsense about you dying in a funeral and a casket? Oh, God, African mothers, <laughs> African parents. But you Don't know what? With some things, but guess what? It's, they've passed it down that sometimes yeah. in Nigeria, you said, OK, so you'll be the last in the queue. I'm not so laughing, do not laugh. Okay, <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love African moms though. <laughs> okay, moving on to more. Tweets. This one is from the manager and he says, What do girls usually draw on a man's chest? Okay, so you know when a baby is trying to ask a guy for money, eh? right? And then he's like, Baby, and they're always drawing one love or question mark. Or I don't know what they're always drawing. What? On so you app? tell us, OJ. No, on the app of what, the manager, what I'm are girls usually I'm, drawing on your chest? I'm asking you, what do you do with to draw? It can be anything like this. I'm not giving you any money. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. I think it actually does work. It mm. does. Yeah, even if, even if the person is not like your partner or stuff, because I do it for my daddy a lot. I rub his head, I'm like, daddy. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, it works. I get the alert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one is from Abike, and he says, What's up for web will make you look like the most effective person in your offices? Typing 247. You'll just be like, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> I know people like this. Uh, yes. They'll just open their WhatsApp on their system and they're just always. You just, what are you busy doing? Oh my like, God. Busy. Busy. Yeah, yeah. I'm busy, I'm working, I'm working. This but you're just busy chatting WhatsApp on WhatsApp web on desktop. WhatsApp and yeah. then Farmville on Facebook. Mm. Yeah. I had a boss. That would oh. come to work. No, not here, oh, guys. <laughs> okay, I just want to say, oh, me not here. Me too, my uh, When not I was here. interning like five yeah. years ago. Okay. So I yeah. come to work, she was always so busy. Ba, 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 ba. So one day she asked me to go and buy her food. So I just peeped and I saw her playing Farmville. Thank God. Wow. Yeah, I think they're busy. They are really working. <laughs> okay. This is from Adanaya. And she says, my wedding vows is going to be very short. <clears throat> Quote, Ugo. Don't make me regret what I'm doing today. <laughs> I am telling Post you. Up. No, I think it has to come to this, especially with all of these things that we keep hearing. So please, do not even make me regret. Nothing. What I, is it? Say something. But this one, you make the guys scared. But guess what? I'm going to look for an invitation card for you guys. Yeah? It was a pigeon, the mm -hmm. most interesting invitation card I have seen in mm -hmm. my life. Don't worry. <laughs> what, what did he say? Tell I us. Mean, it was a pigeon, and you know how it can be very, yeah? I mean, worry pigeon. It was very interesting. The way they did the whole wedding invitation. invitation. Wedding Honestly, invitation. That is, I was looking that for is it dope. For <laughs> okay, it's a wrap on Tweetville. <laughs> oh, oh my yes. gosh. Yes, thank you very much, Amanda.